Hey Steve, you want another beer? No, I'm okay right now. You sure, I got. Yeah, I've still got a carburetor put together here, buddy. Yeah. Well, it's Johnny Hunkins and Steve Dulcich here. The end of a long day. We're in the Hunkins garage, and we're uh, shooting the story about five really cool carburetors just came out under four hundred dollars. And uh, <laughs> you should have seen Dulcich's face when I opened the box. I told him about the new Demon Speed Demon carburetor, and he's thinking it's going to be like a standard modular carburetor. And he's like, "Dude, that's a thermo quad." <laughs> <laughs> you were well, you, you you were taken off guard by I, that. I, I was surprised. I'll have to say. Tell, tell us about this thing, brother. Well, you know, it, it's kind of based on a spreadboard design with a large secondary, but they do it in a unique way. They put an oval-shaped um, throttle plate. Call out. it the goggle plate. Goggle plate. Okay. Goggle I'll, valve. I'll go with that. And. Uh, inch and three-eighths on the primary so it is much larger on the secondary side but it'll bolt onto a standard square bore intake manifold yeah that's kind of nice um, so what else we got here we got some really cool stuff here at QFT they've got the Slayer 600 and 750 vacuum secondary carbs a lot of value there they're like 299 bucks I think that's a screaming deal uh, you might notice there's no secondary metering block you know traditionally uh, let's say a Holley carburetor, a 40, uh, 4160, would have a plate in the back and it would be fixed on the metering. These have replaceable jets, which kind of make it nice in a in a small miniature plate underneath the float bowl. Yeah, now I also noticed that it's got the sight glasses, standard equipment, and it also has the adjustable uh, secondary throttle opening here. Um, usually you got to change those springs, but you just have a little screw right there that you turn to change the uh, the rate. Yeah, I mean that's a big time saver on the yeah. on the engine dyno or at the drag strip or even in your street car. You can really dial in that secondary opening. Well, that's cool. So what do we got over here? We got the uh, the Holly here. Yeah, that's a traditional looking Holly carburetor. It's aluminum bodied, which makes it a lot lighter weight than a zinc cast carburetor. Uh, notice this one has dual metering blocks, four corner idling. Um, economizes a little bit with the straight leg boosters fixed uh, air bleeds but overall pretty pretty nice package with a quick change uh, diaphragm cover yeah we also we have the uh, sight glasses over there too yeah that's a quick and easy way to verify if you've got your fuel set right dual uh, metering blocks a lot of professional features there yeah for a group of budget carburetors I think what we got here is pretty representative of uh, today's best bargains in the performance world of carburetors. Yeah, I think this one's probably like 380 bucks or so and now the uh, the new Speed Demon runs anywhere between I think it's a 350 380 dollar carb. They make one with a with a zinc body and then they have this one with a phenolic body but they also have one polished which I think is like 430 bucks. Yeah for my money I like the uh, phen phenolic body keeps the cool the fuel nice and cool prevents vapor lock fuel boiling in the bowls. There's some problems you get with modern gasolines with the carburetors these days. Well, you'll be able to see all of it in the uh, in the June issue of Popular Hot Riding Magazine. We're going to have all of them, so stay tuned.